guys. Uh, I was working on this old microwave here and I thought I would make a video of it because uh, I know there's people out there who are into retro appliances. This is a little portable microwave from 1985. Uh, it's Montgomery Ward. <clears throat> and turn it around here. It is household microwave oven manufactured September 1985. And it's 400 watts. And I, I had it open yesterday because I was cleaning the fan out because it was full of dust. And I missed some right there. But, but uh, yeah, this is like perfect for like a dorm room or something. And open this up. You can see inside. It's pretty clean. It's in pretty good shape for its age. This is my grandmother's microwave. And it doesn't have a turntable like a lot of the older microwaves. It just has a it has a stirrer up there, and a cat here that wants to go in it. And I'm, the reason I'm going to take this back apart again is because uh, I got to hook up the fan wires because I forgot to hook them up last night when I took this apart. So let's open it up and I'll show you inside. Okay, here's what it looks like inside. Here's the transformer uh, capacitors over there. There's a magnetron and a cooling fan, which I forgot to hook up last night. So I think I gotta take this darn thing out because uh, I think the hookups are back here. Oh no, actually they're right there. Maybe I can do it, but probably I'll have to take it out to do it. But yeah, the fan was really dirty because it had never been cleaned. And there's the light. And all the uh, door switches there. And it's got an interesting setup because most microwaves are side by side with the the uh, electronics and stuff all on the side. But this is cool, kind of cool because it's all up above. And it just farted. <laughs> As you can see, this kind of just slides right up and comes out real easy. And I probably should take care of that dust down in there. Pretty nasty. Another thing about these old microwaves is um, they don't have a turntable, so they have a rotating antenna thing inside here. What it does is it uh, the magnetron kind of uh, shoots the microwave energy into it, and it kind of it spins around. See this duct right here is uh, for the fan, the air from the fan to come in here, and it blows that stir like this and it kind of distributes the microwave energy around inside the cavity and of course nowadays you know, nowadays on modern microwaves like this one uh, we just actually just got this because we, we retired our old one because it was starting to get rust down here like right here anyway these ones the magnetron just like is right there and the microwave energy bounces around in here and this rotates. Kind of like the stir set up a little bit better. That's kind of cool. It's kind of boring just to have the turntable. That's just my opinion. But the fan does that and it kind of it actually blows out this way and it sucks the air through and creates a draft. That's how it works. Okay now that we got it all back together let's try it out. Put this. You never want to test the microwave when there's nothing in it. I always want to put some like water in it or something. Otherwise the magnetron will overheat. So, and you notice it's got a LCD display here. All the numbers. Power levels. It's pretty simple. You can get off. Go away. So, let me just hit cancel here. Yep. 45 seconds. There we go. It's working nice. The light only comes on when it's running. Get away from that. Fucking kitty.
you're gonna get zapped, man. <laughs> And that's it. Slightly warm. It's a 400 watt microwave, so it takes a little longer time to heat stuff. But yep, here we have it. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this interesting.